for those sites. Let's go to Annette from Leicester. Are there any plans for the daily COVID statistics to include numbers of new admissions and deaths involving people who have received a COVID vaccination? If not, why not? That is an excellent question, uh, Annette. Uh, the, uh, the answer, I'm afraid, is, is simply that uh, I, I, I cannot give, I, I don't know uh, whether uh, we, are, we are yet uh, able to give you uh, those data or indeed what that statistic would say if we were able uh, to give it to you, Annette. That's not because we want to, uh, to, to, to conceal anything from uh, people. We, I, we simply don't know, know that data. I, mean, I suspect the number is, is, is very small, but uh, if, in, if indeed there are any. But um, uh, Nikki, if you'd like to, yeah, to comment I, on that. Absolutely. Thank you, Prime Minister. It's a really good question, Annette. Um, I think what's really key is that every week we publish data that looks at both uh, COVID statistics, vaccination statistics, and obviously any safety alerts as well. Um, so although they aren't triangulated every week, those statistics are produced and we're able to look at those and understand what that means and how that influences the vaccine programme. Thanks very much, Annette. And uh, I mean, clearly people are going to, uh, uh, unfortunately, people will continue to, uh, to die of uh, other causes, irrespective of whether or not they've had uh, a vaccination. But I think your, your point is a, is a good one.